Number one is, you know, in the 440 range, uh, par four, fairly wide open tee shot. I think that if you can make a four on the first hole, that's a really, a really good score. You're gonna be coming into the green with some sort of mid iron. If you can just sort of get onto the front edge of that green, I think that you've done well and take your two putts and go. I mean, it's sloped big time, you know, front to back, a little bit left to right so that, you know, front right corner is definitely the low point on the green. And that's a good place to come in from any pin. If you come away with a three there, you're basically gaining a shot, maybe a shot and a half. Two is um, one of those holes where there is no left-hand side. Um, you can bang it as far right as you want off the tee and be okay. But um, if you want to try and hug the fairway, which does slope a, a little bit to the left, you got to really make sure that uh, you're under control with your with your tee ball not turning over to the left. So um, if you can do that, it'll certainly set you up with an opportunity to go for it in two. That green slopes um, a good bit back to front as well. And there is kind of no front edge to it. It's a little bit of a false front. So carrying your third shot or your you know potential second shot deeper into the green is probably best. So for a par five, it's a very small green. And so wedge it close and make birdie that way is probably a, a safer bet. You know, certainly requires some really good finesse on that third shot. And then that leads you into number five where that's our uh, kind of our famous par three on the front nine of the north with, uh, you know, a, a carry over a good bit of water. There is no front edge. You either get on the grain or you're short in, in the H2O. So careful with your club selection. Obviously picking a safer club there is um, a good play and you know taking three there and running to the next hole is is you know kind of um, a good bet there you know I don't think you can win the tournament on number five the problem is you might be able to lose it there 14 is a very long par three most of the amateur players will hit anywhere from a hybrid to uh, some some will hit a five wood into the green uh, the green's really big it's receptive but there's false uh, sides on it so when the if the pins are on the on the edge of the green it's really easy for that green to put off that green. Um, it's also guarded by bunkers on the left and the right. Uh, 16, it's a long, long par four uphill, uh, guarded by bunkers on the right. Uh, the green, depending on how far you hit your shot, you could not see the green possibly for your second shot. And it's also guarded by a bunker on the left. The green slopes from back to front. And if the pins are in the front, uh, it's another green that, that you could be putting off the green into the approach. The 18th hole, the par five, it's 600 yards, and it's a hole that rarely anybody can get to in two, even during the sectional qualifiers when we have touring pros. No one's trying to get that green in two. They lay up to what they want to play. 